I love this this story about what humans used to think the brain was made of based on the current science at the time, like steam pressure. Now we believe brains are more like computers because we've invented computers. Maybe we're getting closer. Maybe we're not. Maybe eventually we'll think it's magnetic plasma or something. But <laughs> what, what we're, we're seeing the rise of a religion because they were raised without that religion. They were raised mm -hmm. without that moral framework and they're actively being converted. I look at, you know, I think maybe a really good way to explain it is a, is a, is a, a, a prion disease or prion, however you pronounce it. Are you familiar mm -hmm. with what that mm -hmm. is? Prion, yeah. Yeah, prion disease. So basically we have a structure of self-replicating proteins that is our system and woke are malformed proteins that when they come into contact with healthy proteins, malform them. These proteins can't work in the body and eventually lead to the body's dis death and destruction. So uh, I think, what was it? Mad cow disease? Was that a, a, a yeah, brain disease? Yep. Mm -hmm. Eventually your brain stops disease. working and then you die because mm -hmm. the proteins aren't connecting anymore properly. So mm -hmm. malfunction, let's get to that. What is malfunctioning? Because I, I mean, that's something in terms of getting back to Hegel and just is there objective truth or not? Mm -hmm. And for people to be making objective truth statements that it's contradictory for you to say there there's no such thing as as absolutes but that in and of itself is an absolute statement mm -hmm. right so i think that again we find ourselves you know i like the movie as a surfer 180 degrees south where the the patagonia founders that are into surfing and climbing and all that they at one point in the movie say that you know you want to be progressive well at some point if you're going in the wrong way it's progressive to turn around and go 180 degrees the other direction mm -hmm. And I think in terms of our ability as a civilization, I like how Oz Guinness calls we're living in a cut flower society where we're enjoying so much of the fruits of Western civilization and a lot of ideas that come from Athens, that come from Greece. People for thousands of years have been developing ways to reason, you know, empiricism, mm -hmm. the scientific method. So we see a lot of yard signs in Seattle that say science is real okay, what is science and mm -hmm. what is real science? How do we actually do that? And, and in our case, you know, in terms of applying uh, to all these issues, just trying to think clearly and think well um, about, in our case, how do you do mental health work? But even these bigger questions of what's true. If, if um, I like to heard one, you were talking about how there was something about where like, um, I don't know if it was a proton or electron, like that's, that was orbiting a vacuum. Um, yeah, 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 so it was, uh, uh, it, it, it was a trapped in uh, in a circuit with no nucleus and it exhibited the chemical properties of what it normally would with a single electron in orbit and when they injected more electrons into it it exhibited the chemical properties of the appropriate atom with no nucleus yeah so that's i mean that's it seems like that's kind of what's going on right now is that as grace was saying earlier that you know you can't just remove this particular project without being clear on what you're going to put in its place and i would just hope that we can just take a deep breath and look at some of the skills that our brothers and sisters have developed over a long period of time in terms of just doing dialogue better, um, doing science better, because that's something we've seen. The American Psychological Associ Association and others are out of their lane. They're, they're, mm -hmm. they're dealing with yeah. things that are philosophical, ontological, that are not empirical and that are that's that's messing things up and we just need some some honesty and some mm -hmm. some carefulness around the way that we approach things. And I'd love to, you know, continue conversations around things like you know what what really is at the root of these questions of what is true but I, I think that you know fundamentally we all share the values of wanting to love people and in our case we've just seen in, in a particular way in which uh loving people depends on truth mm -hmm. right and, and and that matters you know yeah. yeah i you know a lot of what we see with the woke is comforting lies Yes. They'll they'll tell you something that'll make you feel good, but will destroy everything. Obesity. And maybe maybe it's a it's a lack of uh, 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 I guess foresight, uh, a lack of perspective or vision or understanding. It's it's uh, I'll give you a really simple and uh, physical example, real world example. Someone posted on Facebook earlier about uh, you know gun control. No one's going to take away your guns. Blah 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 blah. And I was like, here's a list of the guns of mine that are already being banned. Like they're already banned in most places. And then they just come out with memes. Like their, their knowledge is based on memes. They think they're helping, but they're angry. There's no conversation. I can tell you outright, M1A banned Maryland. Why? Well, they already took my gun away. You, got, you can't have it here in Maryland. There are people who genuinely believe false things. And because of that, want to build in the wrong direction, which mm -hmm. would ultimately mm -hmm. cause pain and suffering to a lot of people. But when you're arrogant and you just, I guess, egotistical, maybe a, a lack of true philosophical understanding, 
you're willing to burn down the entire system for the sake of claiming you're right. It's a, it's a problem humans have, I suppose. I, I think mm -hmm. um, a lot of critical theorists disagree with the scientific method, have issues with it. And something about that that's interesting, they call it the scientific <clears throat> method, but it's just one aspect of science. It's you could call it the floorbow method. You could call it like dark method or whatever. It's it's an, a method of measuring something over and over and over again to make sure that it continues to happen. And then you can say, okay, fine, that is real. And if you if if it doesn't happen over and over again, then you say it's not real. But a problem with reality is sometimes things happen and they don't happen over and over again because they're happening for reasons we don't understand or can't measure. Mm -hmm. And so the scientific method is flawed. And it's it's saying people are taking issue with that. They just don't have another type of science yet to explain why someone might be born with male genitalia but feel like a, a well, their but, gender is, a, is female. But, it, but it, 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 it's flawed in the sense that we're imperfect, but the fact that you recognize it's flawed and science recognizes its limitations means it serves its purpose. Yes. Humility. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's epistemic humility. It's not arrogance. It's not you may not challenge. It's like, please keep challenging. It's, it's quite simple. It's um, uh, what's, what's the saying? Those who are, uh, uh, who are smart are so full of doubt. You know, and the ignorant are yes. so sure of themselves, something, that, something like that. Who wrote that? Was that I don't know. I don't know. That that. But yeah. uh, that, that's the issue is that I can simply say when it comes to issues of universal health care versus private health care, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I'd love to look over the data and figure out a plan <laughs> to move forward. But then you end up with zealots who say the answer is clearly one, done. If you don't want it, you're bad and I will fight you. So mm -hmm. that was Bertrand Russell. He said the whole oh. problem with the world is that fools and fanatics are always so certain of themselves and wiser people so full of doubts. Hmm. 100%. Like there the you go. wiser you get, the more you're like, oh, I'm probably not right. Mm -hmm. Call me on this. Yeah, the people, uh, I look at it this way. You've got uh, five doors in front of you. Four of them lead to sweet, sweet freedom. <laughs> One of them leads to a lion cage. Well, I feel the door, give a little knock. Then and finally on door number four, I hear a roar. I'm like, okay, that, that's not the, or I'm sorry, it should be four of them lead to lion's cages and one to freedom. And so I just like bang, bang, bang. And then I hear the roar, bang, 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 hear a roar. Finally, I bang on one, I hear nothing. I look down, look under the crack of the door, I see some light and I'm like, I think that one's door to freedom. I don't know for sure, but let's take a peek. I open it, I see sunlight. I say, all right, it's my best guess. Makes sense. I gathered evidence and I moved quickly. And then I bring the people behind me with me to freedom. But too many people are like, I don't care, door number one. <laughs> you know, my, my politician said door number one is the right door and then they open it and the lion jumps out. Then they claim it's your fault. It's it's see the system is broken. There's lions in this room. Well, well you, you let the lion in. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think what we're getting to, though, is so rationalism has clearly failed. You know, like we can't we can't just with our brains and which are with our senses completely comprehend reality. And then I, I think empiricism also has its limits. Right. Because empiricism can only still observe what exists in the natural realm and then we have all this other knowledge that is true that is a part of us like the transcendent like why do we love what is beautiful why do we want what is good why do we seek the truth and all and like science doesn't talk about that so these are like the ultimate things that everyone is answering and everyone has arrived at even if it's just sort of an agnostic i don't know no one knows like that is still the framework out of which you're operating and so what I see happening also with this critical social justice movement is that they've actually arrived at a transcendent version of science. They're saying that the, you know, the classic, you know, textbook definition of science didn't, isn't good because there's all these other knowledges and they use that word knowledge is plural that we need to be observing. We need, we need to be carefully, you know, listening to because those views have been pushed out to the margin. And in a way I'm like, I think you're right. And it's not it's not that people's individual kind of standpoint epistemology is is going to get us to all the answers. You know, that that's that's a fallacious way of thinking. But there is the sense in which we need something that also transcends the empirical, like rationalism is enough is not enough. Empiricism is not enough. There's more knowledge that is so true to reality and to our understanding of ourself in reality that but science doesn't touch. This is why I say I, I don't think that the, the left, the woke are acting in any sense of good faith. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. If you want to see the full show, come back to this channel, youtube.com slash Timcast IRL, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m., where you can leave comments and super chat, and we actually will read your comments on the show. 
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you want exclusive members only content segments you can't get anywhere else, go to TimCast.com, become a member, and we even have full bonus episodes. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.